In this video, we'll talk about monoamine oxidase inhibitor or MAO inhibitors. MAO inhibitors are useful to treat depression and it acts via altering the level of dopamine. In simple words, it prevents the degradation of dopamine. Dopamine, once released in the synaptic cleft, does not persist for long. It gets reuptaken by specific dopamine transporters and inside the presynaptic terminal, it would be eventually converted to 3,4-dihydroxyphenyl acetic acid and thereby it would be metabolized. Now, the monoamine oxidase inhibitors inhibit the monoamine oxidase which actually uh, helps in conversion of dopamine into other intermediates and thereby it makes dopamine more persistent. Now dopamine is a neurotransmitter and this is really important for brain function. Dopamine is involved in motivation, reward, euphoria, so it's basically a feel-good factor. Now let us try to understand dopamine biosynthesis to appreciate the function of MAO inhibitors in a bit more details. So dopamine is synthesized from the amino acid tyrosine which gets converted to L-dopa and eventually gets converted to dopamine. Now this dopamine gets reuptaken in the presynaptic cleft and dopamine gets degraded via several mechanisms. One mechanism is via monoamine oxidase. It converts dopamine into 3,4-dihydroxyphenyl acetic acid. Also, another enzyme known as cathecol o transferase or COMT converts dopamine into 3-methoxytyramine. Eventually, these intermediates get converted to homovalinic acid and thereby dopamine is degraded. Now, there are several inhibitors such as MAO inhibitors, also COMT inhibitors, which can prevent this metabolization and allow the dopamine to stay for longer. Longer the dopamine duration, better would be the cognitive ability and better would be euphoria or feel good factor, right? Now, there are several FDA approved MAO inhibitors, such as uh, stated here. Some of them are uh, taken orally, some of them has, can be also applied via transdermal patch. Now, MAO inhibitors are among the earliest developed antidepressant. These days, they are actually replaced by better antidepressants. But MAO inhibitors can increase blood pressure if not taken adequately or if not taken with proper food. So, overall, MAO inhibitors might have side effects and consequences. There are several food which contains tyramine, means an uh, amine derivative of the uh, tyrosine amino acid. So basically, uh, banana, curated meat, cheese, beer, all these things contain tyramine. Dopamine is also a tyrosine derivative. In situations when MAO inhibitors are used, dopamine level is already high in the blood. In that context, if you put or eat more tyramine containing food, there would be too much tyramine concentration in the plasma that can abruptly change the blood pressure and increase it causing hypertension. So this is the biggest caution to be followed while consuming uh, any dopamine uh, inhibit or dopamine degradation inhibitors or MAO inhibitors. So there are several side effects such as nausea, headache, dry mouth, dizziness, skin reaction or rashes, insomnia, but all of these side effects are not common for every individual. For each individual, the side effects could vary. It, it is not really safe to take MAO inhibitors during pregnancy because it can affect the baby's development or even it can pass from mother to baby during uh, breastfeeding. Now, the drug MAO inhibitors can also interact with other drugs such as painkillers, especially aspirins, also uh, medications for cold and allergy, and antidepressants. So obviously, a clinician need to know about your medical history before prescribing the MAO inhibitors. But MAO inhibitors work very nicely for many individuals for whom other antidepressant doesn't work. So it's important. So obviously, consult a doctor before using MAO inhibitors. So I hope this was useful. If you want more notes and flashcards, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Link are in the description. 
You can also support our channel via Super Thanks. You can pay via Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you in next video.